Welcome, welcome everyone to Chesapeake TV episode 121. Today is March 24th, 2015, but it is not quite the top of the hour. It is like 17 minutes past. Chesapeake made a boo-boo, much apology. I have this routine that I do every Monday, uh, which is yesterday. And so it feels the same. Every Monday feels exactly the same because I do the same things. I do the Monday things. You know what I mean? You guys do the same thing on Monday that I do. Uh, so you know what I'm talking about. But Yesterday, I didn't quite do the same things at all. I mean, everything in my entire Monday was different. Not a single thing was Monday-like. I mean, it was exactly like Tuesday, except for the Chesapeake TV part. And so it didn't feel like Monday. In fact, last night, I stayed up until 1 in the morning. And usually, I go to bed at 10 because I'm an old man. So because of these changes, okay, okay, I'm just making excuses. The show started 15 minutes late today because I actually woke up because because I broadcast at 8 in the morning my time zone so I woke up to a text message saying huh huh there's no chess with TV what's going on yeah so after just throwing the most epic 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 tournament in the universe we just fail and don't even start the show so by the way guys last Saturday's tournament was extremely extremely successful we had about a hundred and thirty participants in it 100 people watched the stream at the same time. That's a new record for the Chesapeake TV channel. Um, it was the world's first online chess variant tournament with Bitcoin prize. We set a new universal record, as far as I know, although there may be other galaxies that use Bitcoin. We probably did the, something that no one had ever done before. And that's pretty exciting. I think that's pretty exciting. So without any further delay, let's play some chess. The name of this episode is No Delay because um, my, because my browser is the wrong size, so let's fix that. Bloop. Okay, there we go. Now the browser is the wrong size, the right size. So we're not going to play Horde because I know you guys are sick of it, but I've been playing a lot of Horde and it's, it's been fun. So we're going to not play games with any delay on the clock today, which is a little bit unusual. I'm seeking a game right now. We're pulling up a game of chess right now. Don't worry, guys. Chess is starting. Um... No delay on the clock because the, the show had 15 minutes of delay already. I'm sure you guys are tired of delay. So this is going to be a two-minute game of two-minute game of chess and um, with no delay. So that's going to be something unique for Chess with TV. I think we. Oh, interesting. I'm going to play with the good old Rubenstein's defense. I think we have gotten really comfortable with the time control. One minute and four seconds added. I absolutely love that time control. Not a lot of other people do. In fact, I almost never see that time control out in the wild, other people seeking for that. But it's my favorite because the one minute just doesn't give you that much time to play, right? So it's nice and time pressure. That's important for any game of, of, of chess whiz because I don't want my opponents to actually think about anything. And then the four seconds means you're never really impossibly low on time. You can always make another move with those four seconds plus i usually play on a touchpad when i'm not hey look a free pawn is it gonna kill me to take that no um when i'm not streaming i'm often on a touchpad because i'm just here there and everywhere with my computador computadora that means computer okay so now i've got to check me down here quick before he check beats me down there so a fian kettle might be good B, I think it'd be five, but of course I can't. So A6, B5, and then Bishop B7, or is that way too slow and I need to A5, A4, A3? I will try what we call too slow because the fianchetto is quite useful. And then I'll just go B4 and, and put some rooks down here because I really want to hit his king with rooks. Okay. Rook, oh, 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 nice move. I've, I've had this happen to me before. And now it's happening again, this queen e4 stuff, forking a checkmate and a rook, and I just walk into it with my eyes closed. So I guess I'm a little bit sleepy right now, uh, but that is because I was up three hours past my bedtime last night. So we're going to blame this game on that, but this is the only game that gets that excuse, because I'm definitely woken up after losing a rook in a fork with a checkmate. That's definitely woken me up, so no more of that excuse. Let's see what we can do when we're missing a rook. Besides resign, I can still roll these pawns. <laughs> Here come the pawns, baby. Or should I say maybe? Yeah. 
Okay, downright. Okay, I'll just resign. I'm not going to waste any more of my time. I don't even care about your time. I already wasted like 20 minutes of your time. But now my time is on the line, so I'm not going to play any more of that chess game. Let's play a three-minute game. Clearly, I can't handle two minutes. I'm going to get my rook forked off. Let's go play one right now. Play, create a game, three minutes. Now, the nice thing about three minutes is it becomes blitz. And my rating in blitz is abysmally low. 1820, I mean, I wasn't even born in 1820. So this is going to... This is gonna help boost my rating up a little bit too, I'm sure. I'm just sure it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, Sicilian defense, great, great. So, okay, for you new viewers who are here from, from um, where would you be from? Reddit, you'd be here from Reddit because you saw the Chess Was TV thing about accepting Bitcoin, there was a there was a thing there. Welcome to Chess Was TV. I don't always start 15 minutes late, but when I do, I blame you because it was the Bitcoin prize that made me stay up so late last night. No, actually, I was testing out Horde Chess. Of course, I was trying to balance it for three hours. That's why I stayed up late, right? Um, Horde Chess is terribly imbalanced, and everybody thinks so, by the way, except... Guys, you know what Horde Chess is? It's that chess variant that was introduced last Saturday at the Chess Was Cup, the world's most awesome chess tournament. Well, the sides are not symmetrical. One side gets all the pawns, the other side gets all the pieces. Everybody thinks it's imbalanced, except for the winner of the Chess Was Cup. I am not kidding. This one guy, this one guy, Goldilocks, he wins the whole thing. He's like, I win. Just barely from, from DD Razor. Just barely. It was an epic finish. And then... He comes on. He has the audacity to say, oh, this is totally balanced. I mean, don't even worry. Don't change anything. I like it the way it is. He he still, still, even though he played some noob and lost with the pawns a bunch of times. Okay, I'm exaggerating. Even though that kind of sort of happened, he still thinks, well, we shouldn't change it because it's kind of balanced enough. I can't believe it, but it's true. <laughs> V Sim seems new. You you chat people are so trolly. What I gotta do is take this huge wasted area right here. See how wasted this is? It's like, oh hi, I'll just type in there so that it's not totally wasted. This area should have this chat in it right here, right? So V Sim can be like, I'm new from Reddit. O P O P <laughs> overpowered, right? Uh, because V Sim watches every episode. And he's always there and he's pretty quiet usually he doesn't say anything he's just hiding in the background like don't mind me but i'm watching you <laughs> and so he's always there if i ever click show viewers he's even there before the show starts so he's probably one of those poor guys who's been waiting 20 minutes for the show to start not even kidding okay so pawn takes pawn i've got a target the reason i play a4 is i'm gonna i'm gonna give him a pawn here that does not have a pawn guarding it and then i'm gonna wish that i had a light squared bishop so let's do that. First, let's take. So now I've got a target. I've got a target. How's he even going to defend it? Bishop c4. And then I'm going to move my knight around here. Because I'd like to take your light squared bishop. No, it's actually because I have some pretty cool places my knight could go. Knight e4 is pretty cool if I could just guard that square. Knight c5, knight d6. If only I could get rid of that dark square bishop, I've got some options. I really want to get my bishop out here. Getting really annoyed by this guy's bishops. Like, not just marginally annoyed. What do I do? Because I'm, I'm... I mean, I'm not under any immediate danger, but I'm under some delayed danger. Let's kick that. Oh, there's no delay. No delay. So this is kind of scary. Because i got 40 seconds now to play the whole game of chess. Oh, no. This isn't good. I guess I need to trade rooks. No. What do I do? Okay, c4. Oh, what a great opportunity. I lose my pawn. No. And now I lose my rook. No. Blunder TV. Welcome to Blunder TV where chess was blunders. Everything all the time. I'm not just like blundering some of the pieces some of the time. That would be such a waste of the other pieces and the other time. I am blundering. 
all the pieces all the time. That's a pretty cool tactic though, guys. Look at this, it's an overloaded rook. And I'm gonna use the new features of shift click to circle the overloaded rook. Did you guys know you can do this? Starting yesterday, you can hold down the shift key and circle your overloaded pieces. You can even circle the enemy king, but that is not gonna checkmate him. Unfortunately, nothing is gonna checkmate him in this position, but, uh, and now I'll draw some arrows. Shift arrow, I'll be like, I could have taken that bishop, but then he would take my knight, so I'm resigning. GG. Well, at least I got to demonstrate the arrows. Wow, wow. Okay, so I'm not really focused, but I'm still asleep. Guys, don't tell anyone, but I'm still suffering from lack of sleep, so that's why I lost. So much for my rating going up. I'm probably going to be back in the dark ages pretty soon. 1812? Ah, that reminds me of that great joke. Do you know when? Do you know when the War of 1812 was? That's not the joke. That's a stupid joke. When was the War of 1812? And this guy's playing the same thing? Well, I know. Let's play this way. Johnny Pugh cannot tell me how many times he's watched people play three-minute blitz games on stream, which, by the way, he's doing right now. He's doing that right now, and he can't, he can't even tell me. And try to commentate and win only to lose on time over and over and over. Well, Johnny Pugh, I guess you haven't seen much Chess Wiz TV because that's all I, wait, I don't usually play three minute, but other than that, it's basically my life. So take, he's got three defenders now. What am I doing? Let's put some more attackers on D4. Let's put some more attackers on D4. That's so circled right there. And I, how do I get rid of it? Click, nice, okay. Yeah, this is kind of a new time control for me. I like playing with small increments because then when I get really long time, which happens a lot, by the way, then I just kind of get quieter and I move faster. It works. I really want to play b5 here. Because I am because I think he's going to just get tired of himself and castle on the queen side. That's, that's really what I expect. I don't want to waste any time checkmating him. I want to do this right away. Hi, Proof07. He says hi to me. I've received a mail. Usually I don't receive mail. Sinoshore wants a 3-0 winking face. I'll do that with you. I'll give you a winking face. And I got a challenge from Shuffle. He wants to play three minutes also. All right, so three minutes, pretty good time control. We should do some more of that. All of my constructive criticism this stream sounds like haterade. Haterade, I like that one. It's a little bit like Gatorade, except it's a pun. It's pretty clever. I guess I'm not pawn storming anybody over here. Pawn storming a bunch of air. Watch out, air. I'm going to checkmate you. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, you don't win when you checkmate the air. So I guess I'll castle on the king side also. Take that, Buster. That's world's worst bishop right there. Maybe I shouldn't take it. Too bad I have the world's second worst bishop on my side of the board here. Blocked in by pawns everywhere. Haterade, I like that. Don't worry, Adjheart, I am used to the hate. So I won't even notice. If you're hating on me, I'm gonna think you're joking. And if you're joking, I'm gonna think you're still joking. You pretty much can't hate on me. My skin, oops, is thicker than this pawn. <laughs> well, what isn't, right? This pawn just blew away in the wind. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll get that pawn back with some cleverage. Cleverage, that's a pawn right there. Uh, bishop a six. I'm gonna I'm gonna skewer that pawn so hard. Um, I'm not gonna. I just lost that pawn for nothing, and you know why? Because of Adjheart who says I can't win. He got me all demoralized with his haterage. Now I'm like, Bleh. literally, I'm not just like figuratively, Bleh. you know, that's a real peeve of mine. People saying literally when they're not literally. I mean, they say I was driving my car and I laughed so hard. I literally drove off the road. And I think to themselves, I think to themselves, because I often do my thinking for other people. Did you literally drive off the road? Did you blow a tire? Did you drive into a tree? And they're like, no, no, I just literally did it. You don't even know what that word means, man. Get out of my life. Literally means you really did it. So if you just wiggled your steering wheel like 
like blurp, and then you're like blurp, and then you just drive forward straight. That is not literally. Literally is where the road and you part ways and you never come back. Your car probably will never run again. That's what I'm talking about by literally. It needs to happen, guys. So I'm glad that the Chesswiz TV viewers don't use literally in that figurative fashion. Look at this. My opponent, Newbie Noob, is going to run out of time instead of me. That's a shocker since it's almost always me. Oh, look, he hasn't even played any variants. That's his problem. Newbie Noob, you need to play some horde chess, and then you'll get better at speed chess. That's your problem right there. What were you thinking just starting off with chess? How are you going to learn anything without... You're going to be a Newbie Noob, so what's going to happen? Ten seconds left. Ten seconds for the whole game. Even a chess whiz can beat you. Five seconds now. Man, you are too slow. I don't even need my pieces to beat you. Watch this. Guys, watch this. You ready? Three moves every move. Oh, you're out of time in two moves, newbie noob. I had like 10 more previews, pre preview pre-moves ready for you. If you actually move your pieces, I was going to do it to you. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, um, I should have played Shockful or Sinosure, these guys up here who are saying, please, please. But I really like playing newbie noobs who can't manage their clock. So let's play one more against this guy. Um, is he going to play 94 again? He obnoxious to me last game with this, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to think about the chess this time. I'm not going to be complaining about anything literal. I'm going to be literally thinking about the chess. So is it D4? Because I definitely didn't play D4 last game. Or did I? Is it E5? Oh, look at that cool uh, advanced pawn. Only Blitzstream knows. I figured out why Blitzstream has so many viewers, by the way. Blitzstream is another streamer. He streams Mondays at, um, I think, 19 o'clock, which is, breaks my clock. It doesn't even go up to 19. That's why I can't watch him. But he, whenever he goes online, there's like all these people just pouring in. Like, wow, Blitzstream streaming. I want to see this stream. You know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean. So I'm thinking to myself, why isn't Chesswiz TV like that? Why is it that when I go online, it's 15 minutes late and nobody really wants to watch? Hmm. And I realized why it is. He's actually good at chess. Like I watched it, he made good moves. That, that was a key difference. So I thought to myself, I thought self, I thought I'm going to literally make better moves with my finger. Yeah. And it, and it hasn't worked yet because I haven't figured out what moves to make. I still make me bad moves. Okay, D6. I'm going to target D6. Here we go. Here we go. You're going to be amazed by my targeting of D6. It's going to be shocking. It's going to electrocute you literally. Just kidding. It'll figuratively electrocute you because it's going to be shocking. Am I fighting with the viewers? Uh, no, I'm fighting with myself. I'm fighting with Newbie Noob, which I'm happy to fight with because he's going to run out of time. I've learned about him. Blitzmaster is master level and a great commentator. Well, I don't know. I think he's more like international master level. Yesterday's stream, I actually did get my computer to connect to his stream, which was a thrill. And he was beating something I am at chess, and I thought, this is quality. If I were an I am, I would lose to Blitzstream too. Unfortunately, I'm not. So he has four defenders. Like, guys, I can count. I have four attackers. So that's not enough stuff to win that for free. Great math. I don't want to give him the two bishops. He super annoyed me last time with his two bishops. Let's close it up because I got the d4 square and I'm not finished with it. As soon as I king over. <laughs> That's the best move. All right. Let's defend that. Bootstream is great. You guys are right. If you guys have never heard of Bootstream, then just go hear of him right now. I want you to literally hear of him because it's a worthwhile thing to do. He's got a YouTube channel with some great videos, instructional videos. He'll make you smarter. And my YouTube channel, what is it full of, guys? Blunders. I'm not even kidding. It looks like chess games like this, where the pieces just move around in circles. I mean, my queen. Look what my queen did. It's like, okay, shift key. Up here. Okay, now over here. And then my knight is like, okay, up here. Oh, now I'm going over here. Nothing's... Oh, the arrows are even going backwards. That's how... Stop. Stop. That's how backwards everything is it's just circular circular reasoning that's very difficult to pronounce because it sounds like nuclear 
but nuclear and circular do not rhyme. I don't want to hear no nuclear, nuclear, nu circular, near, circular. Oh, my pawn. I blame him for that one too. If you hadn't taken my pawn, that would have been literally better. So if I push this bishop away and I move my knight, don't I have a discovered a oops? Oh, it's a pin. I've just discovered a pin. Okay, so now I move my knight and your queen's under attack. This is going to be thrilling. Are you ready? Where should I move it? Somewhere that takes a free bishop. Okay, I'm going to lose my bishop though. So it's in the end, I just lost my two pawns and traded a little bit. But that's life on ChessWiz TV. You don't tune in for the best moves. You tune in for the moves. Where else are you going to find chess moves, guys? It's not like you can just find moves on the internet. You need to use chess moves for that. So that's what I'm doing right now. So my next plan is to fork his rooks. As soon as he plays rook b1, then I'm going to move my knight to d7 and fork him. Watch. It's not going to work. What kind of a plan is that? It's not a plan, Stan. Oh, actually, my plan is to get forked. Literally. I think I should take that B pawn. No, I should take this pawn. And now I should take it again. How are we looking? Down a pawn, but look at this. Oh, two pawns. Down two pawns, but look at this attack. Just look at it. It's so powerful. I can't wait to finish him off. 15 seconds. People like Blitzstream because of the accent. Well, I can have Blitzstream's accent. I can say something. Uh, I can't. I can't. All I can say is hook because he says broke like that. My my hook. <laughs> the rest of it I can't even imitate because it's too awesome. I'm gonna checkmate him by attacking different pawns. Um, that doesn't checkmate him, does it? You have to attack the same pawn with two different pieces. Oh, look, he's out of time. Okay, my new plan is flag him. And watch me, watch me flag him. What? Oh, you're out of time, dude. That's too bad. Out of time and there was a free rook. That is so sad. If only you had taken that rook and not been the slowest player in this chess game, then you might have won. Wow, I'm not going to play any more new video because it's too easy to just beat up on people who don't move fast enough. No, seriously, you're the better player, clearly, but you just ran out of time. It's bad luck. I mean, you took some serious free pieces in both of our chess games. Let's play against, um, not him, he's not even a person. Let's play against Sino Sure. If I click on this, what happens? Does it reveal my whole inbox? No. Look what happened. He says, want to play 3-0, and then he disconnects. This little grayness here means he's not even here. I mean, look what my friends do. Look at my friends. And Sino Sure is not even a real friend. He's like a virtual internet friend who might not even exist. He might be a frog using a computer. He's like, want to play? And then he leaves. I'm not even kidding. I'm demonstrating it right here. Chess Wiz is never kidding. If his mouth is moving, he's being serious. God, this was a serious business right here. Serious business. 3-0, winking face, I'm gone. Okay, I'm going to play with someone who's, who's real. I can play with Shockful. I, you can trust Shockful. You can trust him. You know why? Because when you go to the Chess Wiz profile, E4, and you go... And you go, wow, look at all those trophies, Chess Wiz. That's actually why I went here. I just want to show off my trophies. No, seriously, if you... Um, Click favorite opponents. What happens? What happens? At the top of the list appears Schach. Schachful. This is because I love German and I like saying Schach, which means chess in German. Uh, King's Gambit for you, Schachful. Uh, that's his face. This is my face here. I played him 162 games. Oh, I guess this should be refreshed. Is it now 163? Not yet. Uh, accepted. Very nice. Let's go back to this list. Zmaj, I don't even play with him. It's just because I was playing him hard last night. That's why the show started so late. Uh, and then these guys, I don't, okay, caps are off. Half these guys, I am so old, guys, I don't even remember these people. Legend, okay, he's still a legend. But if you see this 
It says member since March 22, 2012. Guys, this is before half of you were born. 2012. So I've played a lot of games against people who are no longer alive, basically. But I guess I would rather it be they than I. What are you doing here? Do you think this, if you just move all of your pawns to this area, then you win by default or something? You know, I can disrupt your pawns this way. I've used up a whole minute demonstrating what a good French shot full is, and now I have to play the game in two minutes. That will work. Shach full. I just want to say that, you know. Shach. <clears throat> Shach. Just wait till I check him, and I'm going to really say it. And it doesn't even mean check. Uh, is my night trap? This is definitely a face palm moment. My night's totally trapped. Why did I move there? Hmm. Ha! I bet he'll have to play king f7. You moved your king. Just wait till I check you. I'm going to say shock so loud. You're going to need to turn down your speakers or mute them before I do it. And how are you going to do that? You won't, you're going to see the check coming. Wait, wait, is chess was playing a check? I'd better get my hand on my speaker right now. This could be deadly <clears throat> to my ears. Take my pawn, I dare you. Oh, here it comes. Shock! Did it work? Are you guys deaf now? I think e6 is the best move. <laughs> it's not, of course. I just lose that pawn. But it was so fun to play. How often you can play e6 and you haven't even moved half your pieces yet. Look, one, two, three, four, five of my eight pieces, if you count the king, have not even moved. And I played e6. Of course, if I were black, I would do that on the first move. But I'm white, so it's pretty impressive. That's what I think. Impressive. Knight c3, knight b5, knight. Oh, I'm so used to atomic chess. That's the other thing I play a lot is atomic chess. My brain is so rotted out. If you guys are wondering why I'm playing so bad, wonder no more. Um, don't play atomic chess, though. Horror chess is way better for your brain because you learn, what will I do if I promote all of my pawns to pawns and then my pawns breed into more pawns? I will use my horde skills. No kidding. It works. <clears throat> Hi, Ornicar2. Welcome to Chess Whiz TV 121. It's the episode number. Ornicar2 is in the chat on the stream. He's the creator of this website. And I have a message for him. Ornicar, everybody except the winner of the Chess Whiz Cup thinks we should change for chess. So we should. <laughs> yeah, I can't even say it with a straight face, but we should. We should. But I'm really interested to see, we're talking about the balance of horror chess. I'm really interested to know if the balance of our other lovely variants is any worse. Because yeah, I guess it's true that white is better in atomic because the first player does get to do some cool tricks. But I really wonder if it's as imbalanced. I really wonder that. And that's why I'm saying it. If I didn't wonder it, I wouldn't even tell you that I wondered it. Okay, so I got my pawn back. Now I need to get my knight back. He will pull more stats from the database in a week. Do you think I can wait that long? Probably I can. What if it were impossible to wait a week? What if you started and then time was like, you know, every every unit of time, a half a unit goes by. A free bishop? Yes. I can't wait to take that bishop. I'm going to take it right now after I make sure it's really free. Uh-oh, 23 seconds for the rest of the game. That seems like enough time. Especially if he resigns. Oh, that's not him resigning. Ah, resign now. Oh, resign again. Oh, it's, it's just challenges coming in. Look at that. Sinosher is back. He's like, no, I really am your friend. I'm not a frog. Trust me. But he is. Literally. Oh. This is working. Just got to play really, really fast and smart. Two of my strengths. Just kidding. Um, it's, the fast part is my only strength. And the smart part, not. Hmm, 13 seconds for the rest of the game. Oh, he knows. He's like, okay, I'll just check this guy. Oops. Uh-oh. Who's going to win this ending? Me. Look at that. Pretty move right there, and I've got the win, I think. 
He's got to think and think, and all I have to do is promote. Oh, where's my auto promote? Okay, so now check. Queen here. And check. Four seconds now. This should be good enough. To win. Oops, that's not check. Is that checkmate? Is that checkmate? Checkmate with 1.8 left. Well, Shockful, that's really nice of you to let me win. Really nice. You know, this guy's such a good friend. These other chess players, you know what they do? They just beat me. But Shockful, very generous. Always considering the feelings of the opponent. Letting him have his piece back. You know how he just took my knight? He's like, oh, here's a bishop. I will be friendly because I'm Shockful. Well, so kind, so kind. Appreciate it. Much appreciate. But although we had an enjoyable game, I'd better play Sino sure because he's probably going to disconnect if I don't. So let's go. <clears throat> let's go. If any of you are old enough to have played Lemmings for the PC uh, back from 1992 by Psygnosis, where all these little guys are like, they're like one pixel tall because one pixel was a big amount of screen space back in 1992. He is literally looking forward to this chess game. Um, that's how the, the game would start. Let's go. And it was it was a great game. You guys need to pull your lemmingses out of, of your three and a half inch floppy disks and play again. Because well lemmings, the original was not that not that great. It was a little bit tedious, but it was fun for ninety two. I mean everything was a little less fun in nineteen ninety two. But Lemmings two, which is the best name ever. Are you really casting Queenside? Okay, let's bone storm you. Uh, was great except it, it had such great copy protection that no one could actually play it ever. I'm glad those days are over. A4, A5, A4. Oh, you wanna see some pretty arrows, Hornicar? Watch this. Okay, so I'm thinking about these moves, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then like this. I can't even draw them in the right direction. Everything points toward the queen. So I told him, he put these arrows in, I'm like, Dude, you have to put them in backwards because this software for me that pushes that does, that does arrows, I drag from the end to the start. I drag from one square from the destination to the source, but this way is from the source to the destination. So how can you expect ChessWiz to get it right? Well, you can't, and you don't, and you shouldn't because I'm not getting it right. It's quite, quite fail. <laughs> so all my arrows are gonna point backwards now. Um, so I'm like, I'm attacking your king. Wait, that's your queen. It's gonna be constantly happening. So it's a pawn storm race now. The reason we're doing this for you chess newbie noobs is when king's castle on the opposite side of the board, namely these castles here, one is in this area. Oh, look, I can't draw. One is in this area and one is in this area. I told Ornikar, please put giant rectangle feature in. And he's like, no. Rectangles. He's like, he doesn't even think about it because he has this, this reflex mechanism. He knows what to do if someone asks him for something. He just says no first. And then he's like, what did they ask? And it's, it's great because when you are the owner of the world's most awesome website, you can't just be like, what are they asking? Because you're certain to overload yourself with too many features. It is a guarantee. It's not like maybe, maybe there's going to be too many features in this chess website. It is a guarantee there's going to be too much stuff. So that's a very good and very important reflex that he demonstrated. He just said no. So there are not rectangles. You cannot make green rectangles. But I can because I have control to G click. See, that's a rectangle. It's a pretty good one too. It's one of my best. And and no one else can do that. I think I have a free knight here. Sino, sure. Are you sure you want to move there? Because I got a knight. Oh! I think I just discovered an attack. Hmm. Let's play on. Maybe I'll win. So apparently when that pawn moved, it it un unveiled something a bishop could do. It was an unveiling and not a pleasant one either. And it's a kind of a next time, next game I play you Sinosher, which is probably gonna be about 15 years, I am going to watch my queen every move. Every move I'm gonna say, is a bishop attacking you now? How about now? How about now? Now? And then and then when you attack me, I'm gonna say <laughs> With my evil cackle, <laughs> of course it's going to be because <laughs> it's 15 years from now. It's not going to be a lot older. But when I do that, I'm going to see it and you're going to get laughed and then you won't even get my queen. It's going to happen. Clarky says you can make a rectangle with four arrows. What am I talking about? Let's try that. Here we go. I'm going to box up the queen side. Rectangle. 
Okay, this is called the Clarky box and it represents the queen side. It's also <laughs> embarrassing to draw. So I'm not really gonna call that a solution, but whenever I need a Clarky box, I will know what to do. I should probably call Clarky and have him draw it because I am too embarrassed to draw it. Do I have a checkmate? That's obviously the question I need to ask. The answer is never, but what can I do over here? Maybe I can stir up something. I'm only missing one queen. The challenge is doing it with three arrows. I love that challenge, by the way, guys. There's this there's this nine dots challenge. <clears throat> Most of you know the nine dots challenge because it's been around for, for years, since 1992, since Lemmings. We've had the nine dots challenge. Do I have an attack? 28 seconds and I'm bringing the pain. Look at that, the pawn is pain, I can take his bishop. Oh, he disconnects. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm under attack. Okay, he's back. Look at that. Oh, I guess I should not get checkmated. So we'll start by not getting checkmated and then run out of time and then we'll take his bishop, which is pawn is pin, knight will fall, checkmate, all that good stuff. I need this bishop. Close that. Boom, yeah, boom, boom, yeah, boom, yeah. Now what? He's falling apart, he's barely breathing. He's checked. I'll go this way, because then I have discovered attack and attack on the rook. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's guaranteed to play queen here, so I'm going to pre-move out here. There's no way he won't. That's what I mean by guarantee. I'm going to show you guys the three arrows challenge, just for you viewer who hasn't seen it. That's probably, let me scroll through the chat here, probably Adjitard has never seen this challenge. So I will share it with my sharing device. Just as soon as I run Sinosure out of time. Am I in stay late? No. Oh, you really think life is that easy. Come on, move king a1. Come on, move there. Don't don't hit with your queen. Oh, I had such a cool rook b1 checkmate. Now I have nothing. Oh, I need that. You might have a mate now. This will work. I'm out of time, but he was going to mate in, in less than six seconds. So good game. Next time, he's sorry. I forgive you. I'll still, I'll still literally, liter, uh, watch me spell it correctly, li literally be your green frog friend, um, literally, that's how you spell it by, guys, this is my other pet peeve, is death, definitely, definitely, that's how you spell definitely, 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 that's how you spell it, you see all those I's and the E, get that in the right place, don't care about the T or the N, just don't even care, so this is the three dots challenge, there's three dots and we're going to do it with, with Ornicar's new, new, um, it's the nine dots challenge, I can't do it because the game's over, okay, analyze, um, the nine dots challenge is to, three lines challenge, Test was please say something in German. Say something in German says Uber Dues. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, I'm gonna say something in German. You ready? Uber Dues. That's actually German because because Uber is German and it means very. So the challenge is to draw just three lines through this area, through this grid, and get it correct and and fill all the box, all the circles. So here's here's how people do it. They're like one, two. Three. Ah, I can't get those two. So then they try again. They're like one, two. Oh, I'm so clever. I went diagonal. Three. Oh, I can't get those. Okay, let's try again. One, two, three. Four. Oh, you're allowed four lines. Did I mention that part? Did I mention you're allowed four lines? So the the answer is really cool. I'm going to share the answer with you uh, because. I'm so generous and I'm on the internet and you can just look it up if you don't want to know. So the answer is to start out, think outside the box, right? You have to go, you have to go like this. Um, one, outside the box. Okay, that part's not important. Then down here, no, this isn't right. Okay, pretend I started here in this area. No, pretend I started up here. 
Okay, so one, two, three, I made the triangle, and then the last move is shooting out of the box like this. So that is how you do it in four lines, and it's really, really clever. So for years I thought, I know the four lines challenge, you think outside the box, get it? It's so great. And then I learned there's a three lines solution. This is gonna blow your guys' minds, but you can actually do this. Go away, all you challenging people. I wanna draw lines on a chessboard. You can solve this puzzle in just three lines. Ready for your guys' minds to be blown? I mean, you can, why don't you, if you're watching on YouTube, why don't you pause the video, get a piece of paper, a piece of pen and some paper, and just apply them to each other until you get frustrated. And then, after you've done that, start the video again and watch Chess with brilliance doing three lines to fill all these circles. You ready? Here we go. Is this a line? One. Oh. Okay, apparently that it's snap, snap two. But now you see the, the trick, so let's try it this way. One. What? Why, why are you snapping down there? Stop snapping. There, one, two, and now that one's snapping. I can still do it because I'm such a hacker. Three! I did it in three lines. You can see each of the circles has a little bit of line in it. In it. So <clears throat> that's that's the chess with solution. It could be done in three lines. Let's play one final chess game. Look at that. Instagram wants to play a game of Horde. And Sinosure wants to play Horde. And look, there's a delay. Let's just break every rule and play with a delay because even though today is no delay, um, Chessmas doesn't really follow his own rules. So we're going to play a Horde chess, and I'm super happy. Super happy to be playing the pawns because the pawns are underpowered, but I've been practicing them, so they're overpowered for me. I also have five messages and nine challenges. Guys, do you even have that many friends? You would have to work for months to get nine friends, and I can just sit down at my computer and do it. I don't even have to leave my house. Okay, Sino shirt, let's go. Uh, go, go, go. Uh, that's French. It, it means start the game already. <laughs> Question from Captain Skellybones. How are you so smart? I don't know. I think I'm not. Gzout says play some horde, so, I'm, so I am. Thirsty McNuggets says hello. Hello, Thirsty McNuggets, and welcome to Chess with TV. Eat Chip says, will I just be working on an opening book in the near future? That's a bunch of baloney because you can click training at the top and then click openings and you learn all about openings. And I play here. Then Eat Chip says you need a bendy line. That's so true. <clears throat> That's like saying I can do it with one really thick line. Clarky, I think that's been invented before. One really thick line in order to solve a puzzle. And that's even cleverer. You could, but I don't have thick lines. Not that thick anyway. Not as thick as my brain. Genetics has been good with me. That's correct, Lit Cartier. I appreciate such a statement. Okay. Got a problem already. The horde is weak. Let's push here to survive this this sino sure he's practiced his white pieces strategy he's very good with the pieces uh, he he took out the tournament champion goldilocks several times with the pieces so he's not to be trifled with it's meant to be called the nine dots challenge so you guys can can google the internet with your googlers and look up the nine dots challenge and see if Clarky is the first one to realize it can be done in one line if the dots are really small and the line is really thick. So I'm trying to lock this up with G3. <clears throat> it's actually on purpose. Oh no, this pawn is falling and that's serious business. You remind me of the ShamWow guy, says Skelly Bones. Okay, this is my chance to get off of that square. Lucky for me, he didn't take it. You cannot pass through three collinear lines with a non-collinear line, according to Clarky. Can't believe you would say collinear on, on line. Don't you know children are watching? X-Ray LX is waiting for, was waiting for my stream and he didn't show up. You know, this is pretty ironic that X-Ray LX was waiting for me because X-Ray Alex usually shows up to the show at about two minutes before the end just so he can get a shout out and the rest of the stream is completely ignored by X-Ray Alex. So it's pretty, it's a twist of fate for him to have to wait for Chesbiz. I'm actually really glad we started the show so late. Unfortunately guys, this is the last game of the cast just because we used up all our time. So for you YouTube viewers, you got, you got shorthanded. But it's not as bad as the live viewers who had to wait in an empty room for a long time. Or chess fizz. I 
I think I can just sit tight and not take anything here. Maybe just defend some more stuff. Um, it's really tempting when you're playing the horde to keep pushing the pawns as fast as you can, like, you know, b4, b5, d4, whatever it is, 5, 4, 3. I don't care about the notation. <laughs> the temptation is to move the pawns that are advanced even more advanced. But I found that the patience is the best plan for the horde, which is which is to bring up these back pawns because they're so lame if you don't. And this is going to work out great. I'm playing checkers today. As you can see, everything's on black squares. Question from Thirsty Wing Nuggets. Do you have to take all his pieces? No, I just have to checkmate him. But he has to take all my pawns, which is kind of cool. And he can't even check me, which is awesome. But I'm fighting one of the best players of the pieces in Horde Chess. I push Queen E1, so I need to go here first. Then I can push and push D4. I actually think I'm doing really well this game. Like, I think I'm advantaged. I think I can win with perfect play. So now I push. <clears throat> Which is so funny that he's the one that's having trouble. Then I push. Forces him back. And then I can leave this and push here. really ironic that I'm winning because everybody agrees that the pawns are at a disadvantage but I and I'm not really winning things look a lot better than they really are for the pawns I mean they're they're sitting up there going wow I'm on the fourth rank and some on the third I must be so winning but you're actually not Captain Skelly Bones wants to know about chess whiz what other games do you play and do you have a job yes I play my job of course I am job I enjoy the game. Actually, the game I've been playing most besides chess, and here's some chess TV trivia for you, is the card game called Dominion. This is so good. So strong. I need to get this e-pawn up here quick. He's getting ravaged. That's the code word for run over like a bus, which is kind of fun. It's not every day you get to run over a bus with a bunch of pawns. Yeah, I enjoy the card game Dominion, and I think for episode 100 and... Let's go here now. 50, which is coming up in a couple of units of time. I think for that episode... My pawns are too far back to do anything. And now I'm falling apart. No, I needed that pawn. Uh-oh. <clears throat> that was terrible. I shouldn't have allowed my pawns to be captured in such a ruthless fashion. And I have no time either. Okay, that's somewhat of a recovery, but he can take me here. I can't push two squares because of serious business. Maybe I can make two pawns be a hero. I cannot, but he has only a queen now. So I have to be patient. The mistake people make still is to rush when they don't need to. Nothing's under attack. I'm still okay. I got five seconds on my clock. That's a lot of time. Let's see. Check on this side. And then here. Ah, I think I'm still winning. And then here. And how are you ever going to take anything? You're so... Frozen. So now I promote here. There's a two second increment on the clock. That's right. Here. Now, if you take that, I queen here. Then I queen here. I win. The pawns win. Own it up. Finish up the Chesapeake TV show with an epic win of pawns. <clears throat> so.
Yeah, I do have a job, Captain Skelly Bones, but I don't have to tell you what it is because this is not. Um, sorry, sorry, out of time. Sorry, must start my job. A job. I'm starting a job right now, guys. So this has been Chespa's TV. Uh, it's a little bit funnier than usual because Chespa just lost a bunch of chess games. So why not bring out the humor? I mean, if the chess is not going to be any good, at least move the lips in a funny fashion so that you can have some enjoyment. Uh, we broadcast Tuesdays and Saturdays. Fortunately, on Saturday, we're going to start on time. But uh, we got shortchanged today. Seriously shortchanged. And shout out to all the viewers who waited 15 minutes and then I came online 15 minutes late and they stuck around for me. Just thank you to all you faithful fans. And, and no thanks to you lame-o YouTube viewers who just didn't even have to wait. You just got a shorter episode instead. But still, thanks to you guys. And hey, why don't you tell your friends about Chespa's TV? Because you can watch the recordings on YouTube. So there's no need to wait until just the right moment to find Chespa's. He's available at any time at YouTube.com. But you have to put the H in Wiz, guys. Look at this. Not this. Look at this. Whoa. See this right here? I'm going to use shift to draw a circle. I'm using tab, actually. That H is the most important letter in the alphabet. If you leave it out, you're going to get some guy whizzing on YouTube. You do not want that. So make sure you put the H in the search. This has been Chesswiz TV. Thanks for watching.